Are you self-aware enough to know when stress is getting too much? Now, when you say to somebody, or when somebody asks you, how are you doing? And you say, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm good, yeah, I'm good. Are you, are you really good? Are you really fine? It's a very easy question to answer with, I'm fine or I'm good. But often we're lying to ourselves, I've done it, listen, I've done it myself so I know what this is about. But are you really fine? Now you don't have to justify yourself to anybody else, but you do need to justify yourself to yourself. Now when we are stressed, there are levels of stress that we are used to and it just it is what it is, you're used to it, you know what the drill is, you know how to handle it. But then there's stress on top of stress. Now stress on top of stress generally manifests physically, emotionally, and physically I'm talking about things like skin conditions, I'm talking about things like how you have energy, whether you're more exhausted, things like that. When it comes to emotionally, you're short-tempered, you're tired, you're angry, you're, you know, all those kind of lovely feelings. But stress does that to you. Now, at the point at which stress is physically manifesting, that's the point at which you need to be really self-aware and take a step back, take some stock, and really try to find yourself back to a place of equilibrium of sorts. Now, it's never gonna be balanced and perfect like as if you're on holiday and stuff like that, of course not. But there's gonna be a place where you come to with your stress, where it is manageable, where you can manage it, you can stay on top of it. And the things that you do to manage stress You've got to keep doing them. The only way to manage stress is to keep doing the things that help you manage it. I know that sounds basic, but you'll be surprised at how many people don't do the simple things. So I'm gonna give you three very, very simple things to do whenever you are feeling just that little bit over the edge of the normal amount of stress you would manage. First one is change your environment. So change your environment is very simply leave the house, leave the office, walk out of wherever you are, change your environment and go for a walk. Use that walk to relieve the physical tension you feel in your body. It doesn't remove the stress or whatever you're stressed about, of course, but what it does is it reduces its magnitude on your physical self so that you are more able to cope with what you're stressed about. The second thing that I would highly recommend is to take rest. We're very quick to say we're exhausted and we're tired and we're stressed and we're this and we're that. But then we don't take the rest that we need. We sit in front of Netflix and think that that is rest. Your physical body is sitting still, yes, but rest is not to have any stimuli, okay? Rest is about lying down, it's about sitting, being in silence, allowing all those 101 million thoughts and painful things that are going on in your head to just slow down so that you can process it better. And when you do that, your physical body will relax more and you'll be able to breathe through and manage the things that you are going through. So take the rest, go to bed at eight o'clock if you can, just do it, just do it. Take the nap, take the nap whenever it's there, take the nap. And the third thing that I would say is to really get into a more mindful moment if you can, right? Now I know that sounds probably a little bit harder to do, but it's not actually. Being in a mindful moment is as simple as having your coffee at whatever time of day it is. You know I'm a coffee drinker, so it's always gonna be about coffee, but if you like tea, fine. Have your coffee, sit with it. Just sit with your coffee, just look at your coffee, enjoy every sip, appreciate every sip, and just have a mindful moment. Because what mindful moment does is it, again, it brings all the magnitude of what you're feeling, all that stress that you're feeling that you're jarred by, it reduces it down to something much more manageable so that you can work through the stuff that you are going through. I hope that was helpful. For more tricks and tips, have a listen to the Self Care 101 podcast.